What is up guys, Eric here from Racing Ram Fam, and today we're back working on Fluffa Luff's SRT6 build. In today's video, we will be building a cold air intake for JT's 2015 Chrysler 200. We've already done a muffler delete slash straight pipe on his car. If you guys wanna go check out that last video, link will be right up here. But in today's video, we are gonna go drive the car, get a stock zero to 60 test on his stock air box. And then we are going to build a custom cold air intake for it and go zero to 60 tested again and see how much we picked up. The car is all stock other than the muffler delete for performance mods. So factory intake, factory motor is a 3.6 liter V6 if you don't know. This is the all wheel drive model 200. It is also the sport model. And we are gonna be building that cold air intake with the stuff we have laying over here some three inch piping, a K&N filter, a nipple for the PCV system, and we'll be TIG welding and building it all. But the first thing we're gonna do right now is actually go drive the car and get a stock baseline zero to 60. So the muffler delete, we picked up 0.2 seconds. Sweet. All right, guys. So we just did JT stock zero to 60 tests with the muffler delete. Um, it was faster than what stock recommends or stock says it is. Yeah, Google says it's 6.0 seconds. We did it in what, 5.8? So if I pull up my phone here and see JT's run, we got a 5.8 second zero to 60. Don't look at the quarter mile time because we didn't do that. That's just a guesstimating. That is totally probably wrong. So just with that muffler delete, we picked up 0.2 seconds in the zero to 60 category. Um, factory, these are about six seconds, zero to 60. So JT just has the muffler delete on it and we picked up 0.2 seconds, zero to 60. So now with this cold air intake that we are building right now, hopefully we'll pick up some more zero to 60 time. Um, I can do a calculator later to show how much more power it makes. Stock zero to 60 is 6.3, I guess. Oh, there we go. Stock zero to 66.3. So we actually picked up what? Point, Point seconds. Half, a second, half a second. With Sweet. just the muffler delete. So hopefully we can keep picking up and keep picking up with that cold air intake and all these mods. So now we're gonna get straight into it and start building this cold air intake. Let's get it. So we just got finished welding this full cold air intake together. We got the filter placement perfect. And here it is. We got it all TIG welded up. It's extremely hot. So there's our PCV nipple. Added on pipe welded on. And then the hole for our intake air temp sensor. But here's the guy. Pretty simple design. Um, nothing crazy. We're not going to build an air box right now for it because we don't have time. But maybe in the future we'll build an air box for it. So we'll keep that filter in a perfectly cold air environment. Right now, it could get a little hot air, but it's still gonna be way better than the factory intake due to the fact that it's a straight through design and it's just gonna flow a lot more air than factory does. So what do you think so far, Fluffy? I think it's kind of funny that you just told the camera that uh, it's hot and then you literally picked it up with your hand right afterwards. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> it's really hot still, but let me just pick it up with my bare hand. But what do you think, Fluffy? How's it turned out so far? It turned out amazing. I'm so excited. Yeah. So we're going to metal polish it a little bit so it gets sparkle because we scratch it just a little bit moving it around on the bench and cutting it and drilling holes and welding it. So polish it up. We'll put a Racing Ram Fam sticker on it and we'll get it all bolted together and we'll show you guys the finished product here in just a little bit. Thoughts on your new parts washer here? It works good. It needs a little bit more water. It's uh, 
mixture is kind of odd. <laughs> it's so sudsy. It's so much sudsy. <laughs> I have to go spray it off with the hose after this. Yeah, that's all suds. <laughs> you know what's going on. All right guys, so I just wet sanded this and polished it a little bit. It's still really dirty. I don't think it's dirty. It's just getting really cold and getting condensation on it. Oh, well, maybe that's what it is. That's all it is. But yeah, so it's got kind of a matte finish, but you can see my weld very well. And then, yeah, if you look in here, look at that fitment, boys. Look at the fitment. Beautiful. I can poke through. Yeah, sweet. I'm excited. Are you? I'm so excited. Yeah, and then it shows the welds off really good, and we'll stick a racing Ram Fam sticker on that. Like, bam! Got to clean it with my parts washer, which I'm pretty pumped about. Bam! That way. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get that grommet in, and then your sensor. Good. All right, guys, now we got to put the final touches on it, the racing Ram Fam sticker. But well, here she is, the full cold air intake here. Let me pop the cover off so you guys get a look at it. Woohoo! So it's kind of a matte color. Um, I could have went more crazy with the polish and got it to be chrome again, but I kind of like this because it matches like the factory AC lines and stuff with that kind of matte look, the dull aluminum look. So we got a K&N air filter, and this is a two-piece filter, so there's actually a filter right in the front of it and a filter on the side. We got our PCV hooked up, we got the intake air temp, and then we got this nice, super smooth three-inch uh, Intercooler piping. Yeah, tube straight to the intake. So I think we're definitely gonna pick up some power. My guess is right, we're gonna be in like that 5.5 range, zero to 60. What do you think, JT? I'm just hoping for a better zero to 60 time. Yeah, but what do you think? I have no idea. Uh, let's, I'm gonna say... I said 5.5. I'm gonna go a little bit lower and say about 5 point, oh, your light died. 5.3. Right there? Yes. That's going to be the most uh, noticeable spot. Looks straight. It does. It's perfectly straight. Yes. Sick. What do you think? Let's go driving. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's see what the 060 is. Yes. All right, guys. We go for a quick rip. Five seconds. Five? Five seconds. What? He's got five seconds zero to sixty run right there, boys. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. That was good. That's not bad at all. That's really good. 0.8 seconds we just picked up. <laughs> Dang. Cold air intake, boys. We just picked up 0.8 seconds from our last run. <laughs> so all right, guys. So we got both the runs right here, back to back. So JT stock intake, 0 to 60, 5.8. And JT's cold air intake, 5 seconds, 0 to 60. So we picked up 0.8 seconds just from the cold air intake. That's way more than either of us thought that we were gonna get. No, I thought it was like 0.3 seconds. So, uh, muffler delete, cold air intake, you can pick up 1.3 seconds in your zero to 60 time. That's crazy. That's just so on an exhaust <laughs> and intake, you picked up 1.3 zero to 60 time. Obviously that's a muffler delete too. That's not just putting on a uh, slightly louder muffler either. No, that was the straight pipes. But I think the cold air intake was a big success. Oh that's my God, yeah. five seconds. It feels like it has way more torque. It does. Because when you launch it, it, it pushes took, me yeah. back in the seat way harder than it did before. Huh? No, keep going. Next one. But I think it pushed me way back in the seat than it did before. JT, you happy with it? I'm so happy with it, yes. It looks sweet and it goes faster. So, so if you guys got a 200, definitely check out doing a muffler delete video or and check out this video for that cold air intake. That's just if you have a horizontal uh, Pentastar V6 too. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. Oh, wait. 
Racing Ram Fam sticker easily added five extra horsepower. That's what it was. Racing Ram Fam sticker was what yeah. actually did it. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching. As always, keep it boosted and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Peace!